Some scientists have called it superhuman immunity or bulletproof. But immunologist Shane Crotty prefers hybrid immunity. Overall, hybrid immunity to SARS-CoV-2 appears to be impressively potent, Crotty wrote in commentary in Science back in June. No matter what you call it, this type of immunity offers much-needed good news and what seems like an endless array of bad news regarding COVID-19. Over the past several months, a series of studies has found that some people mount an extraordinarily powerful immune response against SARS-CoV-2. Their bodies produce very high levels of antibodies, but they also make antibodies with great flexibility, likely capable of fighting off the variants of coronavirus circulating in the world but also likely effective against variants that may emerge in the future. One could reasonably predict that these people will be quite well protected against most, and perhaps all of, the SARS-CoV-2 variants that we are likely to see in the foreseeable future, says Paul Bionias, a virologist at the Rockefeller University who helped to lead several of the studies. In a study published online last month, Bionias and his colleagues found antibodies in these individuals that can strongly neutralize the six variants of concern tested, including Delta and Beta, as well as several other viruses related to SARS-CoV-2, including one in bats, two in pangolins and the one that caused the first coronavirus pandemic, SARS-CoV-1. This is being a bit more speculative, but I would also suspect that they would have some degree of protection against the SARS-like viruses that have yet to infect humans, Bionias says. So who is capable of mounting this superhuman or hybrid immune response? People who have had a hybrid exposure to the virus, Specifically, they were infected with COVID-19 in 2020 and then immunized with mRNA vaccines this year. Those people have amazing responses to the vaccine, says virologist Theodora Hatsiolano at the Rockefeller University, who also helped to lead several of the studies. I think they are in the best position to fight the virus. The antibodies in these people's blood can even neutralize SARS-CoV-1, the first coronavirus, which emerged 20 years ago. That virus is very, very different from SARS-CoV-2. In fact, these antibodies could even fight off a virus engineered, on purpose, to be highly resistant to neutralization. This virus contained 20 mutations that are known to prevent SARS-CoV-2 antibodies from binding to it. Antibodies from people who were only vaccinated or only had prior COVID infections were essentially useless against this mutant virus. But antibodies in people with a hybrid immunity could neutralize it. These findings show how powerful the mRNA vaccines can be in people with prior exposure to SARS-CoV-2, she says. There's a lot of research now focused on finding a pan-coronavirus vaccine that would protect against all future variants.